and welcome to Sosnovka for a guide too with me, Mr. Sealy P. All things wood chipping. When I say all things, the wood chipping options available in game. I am fully aware there are lots of mods out there, PC mods, for all different ways of doing wood chipping. These are the ones that are in game options. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any mod uh, on on the mod hub on PS4. There aren't any wood chipping options available that I'm aware of. I'm not going to be talking about how to cut trees down, I'm not going to be talking about any other bits of equipment. Realistically, I might use a couple other bits of equipment, but I'm predominantly going to be looking at the wood chippers themselves, how to use them, how to set them up. Um, I may make mistakes, there may be things you'll watch and think, actually, you've done that wrong, or, you know, I've said before, any comments are more, I'm more than happy to receive them. Um, because if I've made a mistake or there's something I could be doing or should be doing, let me know um, and I can always improve. I will do the best I can with the knowledge I have at the moment. So let's begin. The very first option available, available to you in game for your small stuff if you're on a budget is this. It's the Heisermat HM4300. This is right there. This is Heizo Hack, but it's Heizo Hack. Um, 4300. This is 28,000 pounds, dollars, euros. So it's quite cheap. Um, so it's cheap. That's a plus. Pro. Fantastic. Cons. It doesn't do large logs. Only small trees or the ends of trees. If you chop up a big one, the end, the tips of the trees, you can get a lot of the small stuff in. But nothing too big. So, it does need to be hooked up to a tractor. This is the other thing I do need to point out as well. To get out of the vehicle and leave these running so you can get out and you can get on with your work, you need to go into the settings. And where are we? Automatic engine start, put that to off. Okay, so that means then you've got, to, you've got to manually turn on and off the engine. If you leave that on, every time you get out of the tractor, the engine turns off, that turns off. The same with the other one I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, so you need that turn to off so that you have to manually do it. So when you get out of the cab, the engine will continue to run, which means this will continue to run. So, I'm going to put this up in the corner. Just so you can see. If I do left shoulder button, I've got pipe out which will move the pipe and put it where it needs to be it will automatically adjust for the trailer now obviously being a very small one this won't do very high sided trailers either it is a, just a small bit of machinery for what you need to do um, if I then do unfold wood crusher like so we're good to go now it's unfolded I can turn on the wood crusher see that going in there we'll have a quick look at it in a minute um, now you can, with the left shoulder button, I can manually, he says, which is not letting me do, is it because it's already turned on? It's not letting me move the pipe at all. There you go, that's it, turned on, switched on, automatically in position. Um, let's jump out. Now the arm, a lot of these will start to fill up at the back of the trailer and gradually work their way forward so that arm will move itself automatically. Now as you can see the aperture, fancy word, the uh, opening uh, here is actually quite small. Now I don't know if you do a bigger log and you cut it into small discs whether you might be able to get them to go in here. You might have to try that. So I'm going to start off with a relatively small one. And these were a bit fiddly to load when I practiced. <laughs> so small log and there we go the further back you come from the log the better the angle you can get on it like so if you come too upright it won't drop in necessarily particularly well there we go we've got a slightly larger one here off of one of the trees I'm going to try. It should do, I think. This is not... Well, I don't think it's too big for it. Nope, took that. Now I'm going to test something out. Actually, this tree isn't particularly big. Um, well, you know what? I'll leave that for you to test. Um, 
the really big trees, if you chop down a massive tree that's got quite a circumference on it, if you cut off a disc that you can lift, the disc will fit onto this bit here, it's just whether it will go in here. Um, but this is generally designed for small use. This is a small wood chipper. Okay, on here. Now, this was from where I had a bit of a practice, but that's what I've just done. Okay? Um, it takes a while, you can hand feed it, and like I said, this is about the wood chipping itself. I'm not looking at how you feed them. I'm mostly going to do it manually on this episode, but you can use log forks, you can use, I've used manure forks before to pick up logs, you can do short logs, longer logs, you can feed them in however you want. You can use skid steers and, you know, if you want to, the Scorpion King, um, or the um, Sampai Rosalie, you could use that as well. For doing some of the smaller trees, it will do no problem at all. It just won't do the bigger ones. But like I said, this is not about how I'm cutting them down, this is about how we use them. So, if I just turn it off and turn off the engine. So that's our first one. That's the Heiser Mat 4300. Off to the next one. So, interestingly, the next one on the list, or price-wise, the next one on the list, you might have seen me use some of my Let's Plays, if you watch my Let's Plays, um, is the Gens BA725D. This thing costs 64000 which isn't horrendously bad. What I like about it, it's pros, very, very long loading section here. Um, this opens up, and the back does, I'll show you that in a second. And it has got its own motion, it's got a little motor. Now this one, you have to actually get inside it to use it. So, if I look now, if I do L1, I can do pipe in and out. That will fold out for transport and I can fold the wood crush at the front. That's how it would come to you initially. So, if I do the down on the D-pad, that opens that out. And if I do X, that opens up the wood crusher. Now, this pipe at the back, I've got a trailer in the way now actually, but if I do L L uh, L1 and R1, you can actually move it up and down. Depending on the size of the trailer, or if you want to unload into something else, you can adjust the height of that if you want to. That's entirely up to you. So, just turn this on. R1, start engine. Then L1, turn on wood crusher. And now I can jump out, because that's now operating. It doesn't use a huge amount of fuel. I've had one of these running on Goldcrest Valley for ages, and the fuel just never seems to go down. Anyway, so the conveyor belt's moving, the crusher's moving, that's good to go. Interestingly, my daughter, when she used this on her Let's Play, or on her game, this conveyor belt didn't move constantly. It only moved when she threw a log onto it, like a kind of automatic switch on and off. Mine's never done that. I've checked the settings, I can't... Fit. There's no kind of auto on off that I can find. I've had a look, but... Yeah, can't find it. Nope, very weird. Anyway, so... This will take larger logs. I've cut these into one metre lengths only because it's easier for me to lift them. Um, but if I throw one in there, like so... Long it goes, into the crusher, up the conveyor belt, and into the trailer. Wonderful. Now, again, you can use any method you want for loading this up. Any way you found of cutting the trees down, of moving the trees, of putting them on there, you can do pretty much any length you want. Because of the length of this conveyor belt, you can get away with much, much longer ones that stick out, and you can feed them in. What I have done in the past, and I'll show you very, very quickly. Again, this is not about the uh, Scorpion King. This is just a means to an end. If I cut the tree. Now, I've got this set of one metre lengths at the moment. I just find that far easier, but I can change the cut length on this to anything I want it to be. If I come across now, like so. Zoom in a little bit. And then cut onto that conveyor belt. Come back a little bit more. This will very, very rapidly 
fill up. Now, depending on what wood chips are selling for on the map you're using, if you invest in a Scorpion King, this will make you money incredibly quickly. If you want to feed them manually and you haven't got the money to buy one of these and you're doing it all by chainsaw, it'll take you a little bit longer but you'll get exactly the same result. It won't make any difference. So there you go, if I quickly zoom out and the trailer, as you can see, it fills up these trailers really quickly using that method. Now, it's not about the method, it's about the wood chipper. So there we have it, that's the wood chipper. Or that one anyway. The wood chipper. There are more to choose from. So, just jump in that. R1, stop engine. That's the Gens BA725D. Straightforward, bomb proof. Um, oh yeah, so I didn't show you. Um, turn on the engine. This will drive at three miles an hour, but it will only go forwards and backwards. It can't turn. Um, I normally set on the, the uh, cruise control, you can set the cruise control up or down from three. I set it on zero. That way it can't kind of automatically roll away or drive off. It shouldn't do. But you'll be able to see a bit better now with the arm. If I do this up and down, you can adjust the height of that to whatever you want it to be. So that's it moving under its own steam, on its own power. Um, there you go. Sorry, I forgot to show that. Okay, so next on our whistle stop tour of wood chipping products, we've got another Gens. This is the Gens HEM 583Z. Doesn't have the Z on this, but it's the 583Z. This was the one that was an FS15. I have a lot of issues with this, it drives me up the wall, <laughs> but that's just me personally. Um, it's much better now because you can hook up to a tractor and because you can turn the auto engine start off, it means you can leave it running, you can get out and you can operate it. On FS15, on PS4, every time you got out of the tractor, the engine turned off, this turned off. It was just horrendous to use. Um, anyway, let's jump in this very quickly, turn the engine on and show you what we got. So on the PlayStation, on the D-pad, if I do L1, I can do fold out, it opens out the legs to the side and opens out the conveyor. L1 again, if I do pipe out, that will lift the pipe up. If there's a trailer, like so, it will automatically find the trailer. Now, I would suggest you open up the arm before going next to the trailer simply because when you open the arm up and down it can catch onto the trailer so it's easier to open it then back up to wherever you want to be i've just found that to be an easier way of doing it um, we've then got i can turn on the wood crusher straight away from here but there's something i want to do first if you look down that left hand column um, it says change control group if i do r3 which is the mushroom and press it down that will change from arm to support to pipe so, the pipe I can now move, well I can't say it's automatic now, but I can move the head, there we go, up and down. That will automatically set itself where it needs to be. If there's no trailer there, I can adjust it wherever I want it to be. But that's automatic at the moment. If I press it again, I've got arm. Now, arm is this red section here. The arm is a crane. And the crane is used, so I'm, this is all on L1 at the moment. Move it that way, I'm coming in a little bit. This is all on L1. I can move up or down, left or right. If I do R1, I then get all the rest of the movement that you might need. So between all of it, I get a lot of movement on that crane. Which is wonderful. In and out, etc. L1 and R1, I then control the head. And I can move that around. Now, if you've got no way of putting larger logs in, this is quite handy. It's fiddly, incredibly fiddly. You need a lot of practice to get that to work. Um, but you can do it. So it comes with a crane. Wonderful. L1 again. If I change the control group to support, I can put those support legs down, like so, which now supports the whole thing and should stop it moving around when I'm loading logs. Wonderful. Now, turn on wood crusher, like so. And if I jump out the tractor now, because I've got the auto engine to start off, that's still running, which means this is still running. Conveyor's going, crusher's going, we're ready to go. 
again. Click on the log. Drop it in. And away we go. This, I personally have found on 15, I hated it. On 17, it's easier to use, simply because of this, the auto engine start. Um, there you go. But I have found trying to do it with this, Scorpion King, is a lot more fiddly because the conveyor area is a bit smaller compared to that one there, which is much, much longer, and it's got higher sides. I found it's easier to load into that one using the Scorpion King than it is with this one. You've seen me do it over there. It's the same principle, cut down your tree, come over. This one, I would try and do my log lengths a lot shorter, only because it's easier to go in there. It's got a bit of a vibration on here, a bit of a wobble going on. That's from just the engine, I assume. Um, but there you go. That's the Gens HEM583Z. Um, all opened out, um, you've got your pipe, you've got your arm, crane, and you've got your legs, your support legs. Um, that's that's it. I mean, at the end of the day, it chips wood. If you want to have a fiddle around with these, <coughs> go for it. This is definitely more fiddly to set up, more fiddly to operate, but it's a nice bit of kit. I was hoping when FS17 came out they were going to do one with a longer conveyor. I know there were a lot of PC mods that had this exact same setup, but it just had a longer conveyor belt, which meant you could place larger logs on it. Now this can be loaded again with um, a skid steer loader, um, a log fork on the front of a front loader. You can do it with a telehandler. Wh whatever your preference is for moving logs around and whatever size you choose is entirely up to you. I'm not telling anyone they have to do it any particular way that's down to you. Okay, now that's it for wood chippers that are in the forestry section and this is where you'll find them all in forestry equipment just here you've got the Heiser mat there or the Heiso hack as it says on it uh, the Gens BA725D and the HEM583Z. Now the next one we're going to look at is this and this is a fixed placement. This is the Gens HE700 STA, it's called. This is 72,000. So it actually comes between this and this as far as price goes. Downside, you can't move it. So you could put it at your farm, you could put it in a forest like this and just leave it sat there. And as soon as you place it, it's on and running and it doesn't cost you anything for fuel you can't enter it you can't do anything other than it sits there and it does exactly what it says in the tin the plus side to this as well is that it goes on the conveyor belt into there and it sells immediately which means you get paid now I, that won't allow I don't think I could be wrong for fluctuations in wood chip prices it might do or you might just get a set price on this I'm not 100% certain it would make sense if it fluctuated with the prices of wood chips, but I don't know for definite. So don't quote me on that and don't get cross with me in the comments. I'm just saying what I know at the moment. That will always change, can always change when I'm presented with new information. Anyway, as you can see, it's got quite a high front to it, but we can do exactly the same thing. Pick up our log, logs. We can use any piece of equipment we want to to load this up. This has got quite a long conveyor belt. Don't think it did, did it? Checking the corner. Now. There we go. Yeah. So the automatic money goes up. So the first one was six hundred and fourteen pounds for that chunk of wood. So you throw enough through this. There you go. Six hundred and twelve. Same thing again. If I jump into the Scorpion King. Turn it on, open the head, find the tree very, very quickly. Don't want to waste any more of your time than I need to. Lift it up, just to get a better fall on it. Now, again, cut lengths, personal preference, whatever you want to do. You can do 1 metre, 2 metre, 3 metre, 4 metre, all up to 8 metres. If you want to try and cut 8 metre ones onto here, you be my guest. I don't have a lot of luck with longer lengths. 
I just fiddle around until I get to a position that I think I'm happy with. One metre cut lengths. And away we go. And you'll notice the money goes up in the corner. This is my test map, that's why there's so much money in the corner. But I'm just cutting straight in. It's wood chipping and selling immediately. No need for a trailer, no need for lugging it around anywhere, no need for anything else other than the fact you literally Trees really in the way. And it keeps going. Well, it keeps going as long as you keep putting wood into it anyway. Yeah, this will just sit chugging away indefinitely. As far as I know, you haven't got to fill up with fuel. It's uh, pretty good. That should be it for the tree. How much did I make? It's all about the money. 13,000. Just on the wood chips I did from that one tree. So 13,000. Now, you'll probably get more if you sell them when you've got a good price with a trailer, but that's entirely up to you. That is it. That's much how terrible. Let's turn that off. And turn off the tractor as well. Um, I just went for JCBs because they look more kind of... Um, they're like work tractors, aren't they? They're <sighs> I know what I mean in my head, even if it's not coming out verbally. Anyway, um, that's wood chipping. Those are the wood chipping options available in-game. The very small one, which is down the bottom of the hill there. The little Heiser map, which is cracking little bit of kit but it only does small um, small trees I was going to say twigs but not twigs um, and then we've got this one here next price up this one actually comes between that and that price wise but it's a fixed emplacement one it has a lot of limitations if I finish all the wood in this forest if I was to finish all the wood in this forest I would have to then sell it and buy another one to place somewhere else. That's the only thing with placeables, you can't remove them and place them somewhere else. If I could just move it on PS4, I've already paid for it, why can't I move it? I suppose because it's concreted in place, but anyway. Um, that's it, that's wood chipping, those are the options available, Those. that's how you kind of open them up, set them up and use them. This one's got beacons on it, I think that one's got beacons too, one of them's got running lights, there's just lots of bits to fiddle around with. You'll find one you're happier using, my personal preference is this little beauty here. I just I use it all the time. Cracking bit of kit does everything you need it to. Um, easy to set up, easy to use. That's brilliant. Um, that looks great, fiddly to use. That's not portable, and the Heiser mat's very very small. Um, so it depends one on your budget, two on your preference, and what you get used to using. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it entertaining. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.